What parents warn their children about the dangers of social media, its interactions with people like Martel Lowry that they are really concerned about. He'll be here at the federal courthouse later today to find out his punishment in this case. According to the federal indictment of Martel Lowry, he used Facebook to connect with boys between 12 and 17 years old and promised them drugs or money in exchange for sex. Lowry allegedly traded explicit pictures with a 12 year old. And court documents say when investigators raided his home in Lincoln Heights, he admitted to the accusations against him. Federal investigators believe there were at least two dozen victims in this case, and they urge parents to pay close attention to what their kids do online. The Internet and the digital age has really changed the type of investigations we do. We're seeing more and more online child pornography cases, unfortunately, uh, where it used to be more difficult for people to access this type of material. Well, the charges in this case were serious enough that Martel Lowry was facing the possibility of spending the rest of his life behind bars. That was the maximum sentence out of the indictment that he faced, but he entered a plea agreement with federal prosecutors, pleaded guilty to some of the charges against him, had some of the other ones dropped, and today he'll be, sent, he'll be sentenced to between 10 and 20 years behind bars. Live from the federal courthouse, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.